Cross-validation error analysis, video offered for Stanford Curve Cause Initiative. My name is Ophelia. By the end of this module, you learn the techniques uh, address cross-validation analysis for classification models, analyzing datasets, cross-validation, and the uh, git problem of overfitting. We aim to use uh, our data to do three tasks on our model. Training, validation, and the uh, same structure of the data. For this data, we'll separate portions of uh, different sizes. As we can see in the slide, we, we have two examples. And within the structure of the model, we identify which parameters shall be optimized. For example, a neural, a neural network wanted to optimize the number of hidden neurons and also choose a performance measure to evaluate on the validation set before we separate it. For example, we can choose F1 as a performance measure. Remember that in the previous module we defined the F1 score as the harmonic mean, harmonic average, between precision and recall to other key measures. Once we selected the parameters to be optimized on our model, we train uh, our model several times, by in each pass the parameter values that we want to optimize. For each trained classifier, evaluate the performance of on the validation set using the, using the performance measure we have selected before. F1 in our case, graphic representation of performance of on validation set as function of the parameter values. In, in our case, a number of hidden neurons uh, in our example of neural networks. Test the performance on the test set. The test set shall not shall not be used for training or validation are disjoint sets. It is used uh, only in the end for estimating the performance on unknown examples, i.e. how well your trained classifier generalizes. You should assume that uh, uh, you do not know the labels on, of the test set and only after you have trained your classifier or they are given to you. Cross validation, parameter optimization and test set performance. For large sample sizes, the division in the training validation uh, test assets portions is sufficient. Using the percentage of the total uh, of the total number of data we defined uh, in, the in the first slide, but uh, both uh, small sample sizes, a good alternative is uh, is the cross validation. How work? Divide dataset into k usually 10 folds. k minus 1 are used for training validation and 1, only 1, is for testing. Test data between folds uh, should never overlap disjoint sets. Test data between faults shall even overlap training and validation and test data in the same iteration shall never 
overlap. In each iteration, the error on the left outset is estimated. Error estimate, final error estimate, is the average of the key errors. We can run an n, usually n equal to or three, fold cross validation on the training mass, uh, training plus validation faults, only in order to optimize the parameters. Select the parameters that result in the best average performance over all n folds. Then train on the entire training and training and validation set. This is a k minus one folds, and test on the k fold. The inner cross validation matches uh, parameter optimization, and the outer cross validation matches uh, performance evaluation. Another way. Another simpler way to optimize the parameters is simply uh, to leave a second fold out for validation. Train on the training set, optimize parameters on the validation set, and test on the test set. Overfighting. A small error on training set, but large error on unseen examples. Underfitting, larger error on training and test sets. Both errors, overfitting and underfitting, shall be avoided. So look for the balance between the two extremes. In this example, the, the algorithm has learned the training examples perfectly, even the noise present in the examples and cannot generalize on unseen example. However, the true function, green, has little resemblance to the function we have learned, and meet new examples not yet have seen little use, although the estimate of the current data is perfect. Overfighting can occur when learning is performed for too long, for example, in neural networks. The examples in the training set are not representative of all possible situations, or the model we use uh, is too complex. We have covered uh, some techniques for working from with cross-validation error analysis uh, with qualification models, mainly cross-validation error analysis, datasets, cross-validation and overfitting. Goodbye.